Uri Hashem se Shabbos. Shams Shabbos. Welcome back to another episode of Baruch Hashem and Shabbos. Let's make some chicken colors. I like to buy the family pack. This is how they come. So we're going to cut this up, and I'll show you how I prepare these strips. First things first, you're going to cut it in half, and then you want to take this off. Then you have like the chicken finger over here, which every cutlet has is like a little chicken finger. So that's one. Let's clean the other one. Now you can bang this out, or you can just go straight this way. Okay, so this is how it's all prepared over here. So we have a bunch of steps here. Follow along. I'll show you how to do this. It's not that hard. You just have to figure this all out. Once you figure it out, it'll go really quickly. First things first, start heating up your oil. You want your oil to be nice and hot by the time it's ready to fry. Next comes another pair of gloves. Yeah, you're gonna need a couple pairs for this one. Let's start whisking up some eggs. So I have a couple of eggs prepared over here. Okay, that's good. So we have flour, we have sesame seeds, we have a little za'atar. I got salt and pepper, I got garlic powder, three different types of crumbs, and then I have one carrot. One carrot, why? Maybe because, or if you put that into the oil, it's gonna, Help your oil not burn. So what I'm gonna do next is drench my chicken in flour. Here we go. So I got a nice little dredge over here. So you want two bowls. In one bowl, I'm gonna put my eggs in. In the other bowl, I'm gonna put my crumbs in. Now I'm gonna do around equal parts of all my crumbs. This is the cornflake crumbs. I like the original, I don't like the flavored ones. I like to put my own flavor. This one is the Geffen panko crumbs. Panko is a little bigger, might give you a nice little crunch. And the bread crumbs. Once again, I got the original. I don't like the flavored ones. I like my own spices. And then goes my spices. So salt and pepper is a must. You're gonna need a nice amount of salt. Here's my garlic powder. I like to put in some za'atar. Uh-oh, this is getting hot. I'm not ready yet. It's gonna give it a nice little Israeli touch. And sesame seeds. And I'm gonna put a lot of sesame seeds. Give it a nice mix. I'm gonna add my chicken to the eggs. I don't know if I have room for all of it, so I'm just gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna finish doing this later. Get it all drenched in the eggs. Love that my grandmother used to say, Kiran pot flash. Ibegat soygen flash. Kiran pot flash. Today's day it's called schnitzel. One hand, clean. No eggs in this hand. This hand gets eggy. This hand is only for crumbs. Once you start using this hand with the eggs, It'll get all clumped, clumsy. One piece at a time, cover it with the crumbs. Give it a nice little bang down with your hands. This way, it'll flatten out a little bit. Magic! Here we go. Everything breaded, beautiful. Let's see what happens. Beauty, that's what I want to hear. It's around three minutes later, four minutes later. Look, that's when you want to flip it. I'm getting hungry already. These are almost done. When you see somebody touching it before it's all done, like before they're all ready, you go, ah, ah, I'm done, I'm done. Wait. 
<laughs> this looks perfect. Look at this. Beauty. So it looks like these got ready before these. So we're going to start. So this is one of the things I do Friday at home on a weekly basis. Not only my kids that I have to prepare for, it's for the neighbors as well. Look how gorgeous. Hear that little sizzle right there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Boom, ready. Chicken nuggets, chicken fingers, schnitzel fingers, kirantat fleisch, rampatosh, wiener schnitzel, ah, whatever you want to call it. We're all ready. Friday afternoon, you prepare this for Shabbos. I'm not sure how much will be left over for Shabbos, but one thing is for sure, when your kids come home from school and this is prepared like this, there's one thing they're gonna say. Ah, Ibn Hashem, Shabbos. They'll be so happy. Let me taste, let me see how it is. Mm. Should I take one of the hot ones? I'm gonna take one from, ooh, that's hot. Let's cut in. Okay, so chicken nuggets is really best with a nice good sauce. This is the snap sauce. Whoever has been to my restaurant before knows snap sauce is especially with fried chicken. Love the crunch. I think this is a winner. Hashem se Shabbos.